Hey guys, it's Ruben with Search Party Marketing. Today, I wanna to show you my CRM that I built in Trello in under five minutes completely for free. If you're not familiar with Trello, it's uh, T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. It's a really, really great tool that I use for all kinds of project management, keeping to-do lists, and I've uh, also built this little CRM using Trello as well. This wasn't my idea. I read an article a couple months back that was how to build a CRM in Trello or three, three ways or five ways to use Trello like a CRM. And I just um, read the article, forgot about it, and moved on with my life. But this week, I found myself suddenly in need of a quick on-the-fly CRM. I didn't feel like signing up for something else like HubSpot or something like that. So I just added a new Trello board. That's what you're looking at right here. This is a Trello board. If you've never used Trello before, you get different boards, um, which are just a, this whole the entire screen that you're looking at is a board. Within the board, you have lists. Each column is a list. So you, have, you can see I have four lists right here. And within each list, you can have different cards. So you can see this one, I have four different cards. I've deleted some of my leads information from here for their privacy, but uh, basically this is how I'm using Trello as a CRM. I've created four columns. Each column represents a stage of my funnel that these leads are in. So as I take people in from my website forms or from a phone call, they go in this leads column. After I have talked to the lead, gotten them ready for a proposal. I move them over to the ready for proposal stage. After I've sent them the proposal and they're ready to close, I move them to the ready to close column. And then finally, once they've closed, they've become a customer, I move them to the closed column. And uh, honestly, at that point, once they're in the closed column, they go to an altogether different Trello board where I set them up with either Google ads services or a website and SEO services. I move them to another Trello board where I continue work for that client. But this is my basic CRM setup using Trello. It's very, very easy. So you might be wondering, how do I get leads into this CRM? It's also really simple. You could just create a new lead in here. So I've created a sample lead for you. John Smith Johnson III is not a real person, but I've entered um, some information in here just so you can see what each lead card looks like. So each of these is an, independent, is an individual lead. It's a new person that's contacted me through my website about needing services. I do Google Ads. Um, so John Smith Johnson III, you can see here in the description, this is where you can fill in any information you know about the client. I like to keep important things up here like the client's email address, phone number, website URL, any other important links or important business data, anything that would be good for me to know about the client. You can also use um, labels if you want to label these as like Google Ads lead or website lead or SEO lead or whatever. Um, you can create checklists if you have different checklists that you do for each lead, like maybe there's three things you do for every lead that you get in your system. So you can create a checklist for each lead and check off each one of those items as you do them. You could have a due date if you want to have a, a set of due date for when a certain follow up is due or something like that. You can add attachments if the lead has sent you something important like a PDF or a, a video file or something like that that you need to review. And then what I do for lead follow-up, every time I have a phone call or an email with the lead or a hangout or a Zoom meeting or whatever, then I enter a comment here. So for every phone call or email, you can see I've entered a comment. So email with John discussed a Google Ads account for John's business two hours ago. Also two hours ago, prospect call. Um, you could enter any notes that you have from a phone call that you did. So I would type your notes directly in here as a comment. So if I had a new call right now, I'd say, um, new call, and then I'd start writing my notes here and here and here, and then you can save that. And when you save it, whenever you add a new comment, it gets a timestamp so you know exactly when that happened. You don't have to write the date and the time of the call. It's just automatically timestamped. So that's basically how it works. Let me show you how you get a lead into this system using Gmail in less than two clicks using Gmail and the Trello plugin. So we're gonna run over to my website, one of my websites really quick. This is um, where I sell Google ads campaigns to carpet cleaners. That's one of my marketing businesses. So if I had somebody filling out a new lead form, they would fill out this lead form and say, my name is Charles E. Cheese. My phone number is 555-555-5555. And my email address is charles at cheeseenterprises.com. And they would submit this lead form on my website. And after somebody submits this form on my website, I get an email notification in my inbox letting me know that I've got a new lead. Okay, so now we're in my inbox. I get an email notification every time somebody submits a contact form on my website. So here's Charles E. Cheese, 555-555-5555, Charles at char uh, cheeseenterprises.com. 
So here's how we're going to add this lead into Trello in just two clicks. First, add the Trello plugin to your Gmail account. So first click open Trello. It's going to take all the information from this email right here and it's going to let you add a card. And if everything looks good, you can just literally click add and that's it. That's your second click right there. Um, but let me walk you through some of these before we do that really quick. So when Trello scans this email and decides what it's going to add into a Trello card for you, here's what it does. It asks, it asks you which board you want it to go into. By default, it already knew it was going to go into my CRM board. It asks you which list on that board you want this uh, card to go into. Mine goes into leads because that's where my leads all start out. Right here it says name. This actually pulls in the subject line from the email. So I like to replace this with the leads name before it goes into Trello. So Charles E. Cheese. And then the description is the body of the email. So everything that was in the body is going to go into here. You can add a due date if you want to have a date that you want to follow up with this customer or something like that. I don't usually add that, but that's literally it. Click add and Charles will go into our Trello board here. We'll head back over to Trello and look at that. We've got Charles E. Cheese in our Trello board here. There's all of his information and you can move Charles around your CRM as he goes from ready to proposal, ready to close and finally closed. That's it. That's how I built my really simple free CRM in Trello. I hope you find this useful. I'm Ruben with Search Party Marketing. Visit GoSearchParty.com if you need marketing services and be sure to subscribe to Search Party Marketing here on YouTube if you want to get more marketing videos in the future. Thanks.